First of all, welcome back to this class. This is day number 15 into the semester week number 8, CISG 114, section 2, Web Technology and Light. If you look at the calendar, this is week number 8. If you look at the uh, specific topic in week number 8, it's, it's one of the set of the topic overlap those in last week. But remember, last week we spent a lot of time helping you to understand what you need to do in the coming uh, last learning contract of the semester because we skipped the second learning contract number two. So let me go back here. I invite you to think about this. Uh, what have we learned from the seventh week of the semester? Uh, we did not, we did not uh, help you to, end, uh, to understand anything new in class last week. Uh, we're going to do some today. But in, instead, last week, we helped you to understand the nature of the work from now to the end of October. Because for this last learning contract, LC003, your renew the deadline is November the 1st, extended to November the 2nd, 11.55. So you have from now to November the 2nd, is about three and a half weeks time, okay? So, if you look at the number of topics here, as I mentioned to you, just for this three weeks, not many. One, two, three, four, five specific topics. But these topics, it's big topics. That means each one of these topics could actually include one to two to three to four topics that we used to study in the first learning contract and also in the second learning contract. So uh, it's really up to you if you want to use this as your problem to meet the discussions in the final learning contract. Today, you should have the team form because as of last time, I understand that and thank you for, for the efforts you spent here last week, okay? I, quite appreciate that uh, we have team forms, okay? Uh, as you can see that form, we have several teams. Actually, we should go back to week number six, okay? Week number six, skip here. You can see the new team's form, all right? So you can see that we have four teams forms, okay? This is the first team, okay? And that is the second team, okay? And that is the third team. And lastly, that is the fourth team. Now today, I want you to get one night to the Moodle environment and try a little bit on the specific, on the specific things, we call it the team discussion forums. So let's go to the Moodle environment. And each one of you just get one night using the mobile devices. You fast forward to Week number eight. You fast forward to week number eight, the week that I just mentioned at the beginning of the class. Okay, week number eight. Down here this is a seven. After the learning contract number two submission, then this is week number eight. And here you can see that in week number eight, two to keep track of your learning, you have the team online discussion forum. <coughs> I want you to click into the team online discussion forum. Now each one of you, when you click on this link called separate groups, you can find your name, okay? You can find your pair's name. You can also find your team's name. So here at this particular point, I want you to choose your team's name because you are using this forum to engage in team-based discussions, okay? So try to click on one of these four teams' names, depending on the nature of your team affiliations, and get into the team and say hello to the team member. In the meantime, I'm going to give you a teacher's welcome message. All right, so do it now. Each one of you, please get online to the Moodle environment. Go to week number eight, team discussion forum, and go to your teams and say hello to your team member uh, to make sure you can get access <coughs> to the teams, okay? Adam? 
I'm giving you a teacher's message now to ensure that you will have the team's identity. Work out. Hello message to the rest of the team member is by clicking on the reply link of my message. Okay? Clicking on the reply link of my message. Yes, I've already sent out the first um, team one's message here. Now I'm getting into team two. Please get used to working something else like this class. Uh, studying from this particular class, we will have time to do group works in class to make sure that everyone is on the same page. Okay? Given all the four teams uh, a teacher's message, and then I expect each member from the individual team will give the hello message to the rest of the team members. And having done this, you need to, as I said, uh, post your individual proposal from the contract number one by doing the copy and paste of the content to your team discussion forum. So that each member of your team to greet your individual discussion proposal. Thank you. 
birthday uh, hello message to your team member. Would you do this now? Each one of you should now have uh, submitted your personal proposal for learning contract number one. Could you now post your personal proposals on your team discussion forum? You can call this uh, Kelvin's discussion forum or Coco's, uh, uh, Kelvin's proposal or Coco's proposal so that your team member can actually look at your discussion proposal directly from the forum. And they can give you feedback or you can take turn five minutes at most for each member to explain to the whole table your individual proposal. Okay? Now please post your proposals on the specific team. Okay? Post your proposal on the specific team discussion forum. Individually, you have four students there, right? So that means you could have at most four proposals there. Yes, that's very good. We have just 14, it's, well, it's going to be manageable. Manageable. So let me go back to team number one. Yes, we have um, two members are seated and saying hello to the rest of the team member. So we wait for the other two member, and then you create a new discussion thread for, say, Ivy's proposal, Coco's proposals, <coughs> or uh, Max's proposal, or Bobby's proposal, something like that. Okay. You're in the uh, team online discussion forum in week number eight. Very good for the team number three, two. Uh, we have two responses. Uh, can we have two more? Uh, at least one more. Because three members in. And this is for team three. Okay, let's take a look at team four. Very good. Basically, we have uh, all the four members in. Uh, we're given the uh, say hello. Now is the proposal time. Would you please post the proposals there? Uh, it takes about at most five minutes to post the proposal there, and then you engage the whole team members on your table and you come to discuss about your proposal. Listen to your presentation. Take turn. Five minutes per member. It takes about 20 minutes to finish discussing this. Okay? It's important that you learn to get things done in class and then you can uh, start doing things more. Today we are going to help you understand a forum and also help you understand a wiki. And then we'll go back to some class lectures. All right, so let's go to team number, oh, this is very good, team number three, <coughs> two, Yes, 
all of you did uh, post uh, your color message. That was the proposal plan. This is tip number two. Go back to tip number one. Yes, tip number one succeeded for you. It's already given hello to the whole group. And then it's time to proposal <laughs> your proposal. Okay. You got your proposal? You need to uh, uh, break at least um, the USB stick to carry things like this. Or if, if you have already, um, once you've started using the wiki, then you can use the wiki to store some of your work here. Okay. Oh, but your proposal. I'll give you a 10 minutes time at least um, to post the proposal to make sure that everyone will have the proposal post. <coughs> so when we return to our class, our regular class discussions at 12. Okay? When you post a proposal, make sure you create a new discussion thread. Okay? So use your name as the as the adjective. So if you're Bobby, Bobby's proposal, something like this. Your individual proposal from learning contract number one, would you post your individual proposals on this uh, team online discussion forum? Under the team name, definitely, you create a discussion thread, and you call this discussion thread my proposal. If you're Bobby, you can say Bobby's proposal, and if you want King, you can say King's proposal, if you're Apple, you can say Apple's proposal, okay? To do that first, you have got at most 10 minutes time to do it. The most important thing is you have to also do it, all right? Uh, remember from now to November the 2nd, you have about 25 days, okay? 25 days time to get your thread learning contract done. And the first thing to start working with your thread learning contract is to come up with your team's problem. That is your team's proposal of what to do. And uh, how can you come up with a team's proposal of what to do? It comes from individual member of your team. And so we say we invite each one of you to post your personal proposal on the team discussion forum with the contents listed out of just a file so that every member of your team can read from the discussion forum your proposal in terms of the name, the three sets of questions, the three and five, three to five relevant references, and one simple paragraph to like words. Remember that? That is what you did on learning contract number one. And after each individual member of your team have finished reading one another's proposal, you need to have a very important discussion about yourself. 20 minutes. So we're laid down on what to do. Are you going to select one proposal from the four on the table, or are you going to create a new one? Okay, based on the interest profile of the individual member on your table. You need to give each member a chance to say something. And that's why when you sit on a table, 
we need to talk about things. Okay, we need to talk about what to do. That is very important. And if you could identify your problem before this first day, we have another phase to go. And so my purpose today is to make sure that you can read the individual proposal of the individual member of the table, and then you can talk about which one to choose, or do we need to create a new one, okay? And uh, of course, if you look at um, learning contract number one, you just have the first four weeks time. Uh, first four weeks topic to choose one. Now we in learning contract number three, we could choose from week one to week 10, okay? If we did learning contract number two, you should have done week five, six, seven, but we skip learning contract number two, and we say actually you can choose from week number five to week number 10, or learning contract number three. But I got a question, can we choose something from learning contract number one? Yes, not a big problem. So you have all the freedom to choose. But the point here is, you must have consensus within your group on what to do, which topic to do, okay? That's why you need discussions, okay? Now, let's see if you have already upload your, let's say, uh, transfer your, your individual proposals there. Okay? I'll give you some more time to do it. Five more minutes. <coughs> Thank you. 
So let, let's see uh, if we have uh, some proposals uh, already uh, already posted here for the convenience of your team members. Okay. Okay. Now, um, looks like you have still not done this. Do you understand the meaning of this? That okay for team number two, we have at least Brandon's proposals posted here for the rest of the team members to read. Okay. And then uh, Brandon said that is my proposal. Okay. Now the, the most important thing is uh, you can also copy and paste the content of the proposal in. So the people do not need to go the second step in order to do your proposals. You can also show the content in, okay? That is a very important thing for the for the convenience of your team member to read and to give it back. For learning project number three, the whole team is going to do only one proposal. Okay, that is called your problem. But how can you have that problem from several people now that each one of your team member has his or her own proposals done already in the first learning contract? Okay? So you need a discussion to talk about this. Should I give up my topic and do more topics, or should we come up with a new topic so each one of your team member will say, not a big problem, let's do it. Okay? That's why you need discussions time in class to help make the decisions which proposal to do, all right? So, and this forum, it's just a medium for you to put your proposal here so that the whole team could read your proposal. They could read one another's proposal to make decisions or to give feedback. Uh, this is what we that is what we need this team discussion forum for. Basically, it has two major purposes. Before you have a problem, before you have a proposal, you need to come here and discuss what to do. After you have a proposal, you need to come here and talk about what to do with whom. Okay? So you have to put your information in, alright? It takes a little bit while to get used to this. Okay, let's go to team three. We just have four teams here, so it's manageable. Okay, now team three, we do not have any proposals yet. Okay, so you can, uh, you can, you can, you can provide some more information. Okay, it's all right. If, uh, it takes you some 
little bit longer, it's okay. Uh, but remember, you have to learn how to work things out in class, all right? So, if you forgot, type it in. Type in your proposal, again, okay? Everything you need to do in order to share your information with the rest of the team members, type in what's your topic, what's your interesting topic you want the whole team to do, three essential questions, okay, that you want to explore with that proposal, three to five work references that you can find online, and then you can cite the APA style reference there, and one simple paragraph to tell your fellow members why this topic is important. Okay, that is what we call proposal, right? We learned how to do this in first learning contract, right? So can you type something in at this point? All right, we will spend another five minutes here, and after that, I will switch the focus to the wiki. Okay, the wiki is something very important, and you need to learn how to do it together with your team members. Okay, then let's wait. Okay, everybody type in your proposals now. If you forgot where you put your first learning contracts proposals, okay, type in something you have on your mind. You remember what you said in the first learning culture proposal. Type this in, no matter how incomplete it is now, because it's your idea, all right? Type in your idea. What is the topic you want to do from your perspective uh, as a team member, okay? And your four team members now is the full input to the people who have a basic understanding of how many topics you want to do. Okay. So it's very <coughs> simple, very important. The most difficult thing is the new type of mature mobile devices. Small screen. Small screen, alright? Small screen. My topic, you can say Billy's topic, okay, and then type in one topic. And you can reference what to choose by going back to uh, the tenth reading list, and also going back to a course review. Remember this course review item? Here we have from week one to week ten all the questions here, okay? All the questions here. You can choose. You can choose. Type it. You need to give some input to your teamwork, okay? Learn how to be active. And if I were you, I'd pick this out and so I could have all these questions of me like this and then I come to class. That is very important. Now the most important thing that we do teamworks in class is to make sure that everybody will have a chance to be on the same page. That you do not need to wait until outside the classroom to put members together. Okay? But what you need to do when you come here is make sure you have a mobile device where maybe you in the pens, a pencils, a piece of paper, and then the most important thing is everybody get in touch. When you do the discussion on your table, you can do it in your language, okay? You can do it in your language to make sure everybody understands this, okay? So I would like you to come up with a topic, okay? I would like you to come up with a team based topic you want to do in your third minute contract. That is the purpose of today's work. I introduce to you the forum for you to use to express your idea so that your fellow member could also express your ideas and you have a record there. And this record is part of the submissions artifacts, okay? Now you can start exploring. Even though you forget your first time project proposal, but you are here, talk to your member. What do you want to do, okay? Then come up with some consensus that this is the topic we want to do. So by the end of the discussions here, you don't waste your time, okay? This is the topic you want to do. So in your case, you have a very good notebook there. The other two members just talk. Uh, make sure you come up with something. What is the topic you want to do, okay? So what is the topic you want to do? And with that topic, what are the three sets of questions you want to do, okay? And then some members will get engaged into looking up relevant references using the web, okay? And then you will have something done. All right, and so you can move on to the next phase to query tackle the problem. All right.
Do you have any input? Say, give a topic, name some topic about you. So, uh, yeah. In a minute, I'm going to prove your idea from each table. All right. I'm going to give you some sampling to see if you have any ideas. Yes. You're free to talk here uh, to make sure everybody in your team understands your <coughs> job. All right. So don't waste time. You start talking about the topics now. Okay, now um, I will give you another 10 20 minutes to watch the class to continue your discussions on what topic to do. But now, may I have your attention, please? Now, the second important tool in uh, the first learning contract, actually, starting from the second learning contract. But we didn't do the second learning contract, so we directly come to the first learning contract. It's the team online collaborations wiki. Okay? Now we have already introduced to you what's the purpose of a wiki. It's the purpose is to allow all the members of the team to work together, to write something together, to do meetings together. So it's a very useful medium. That's why in the first learning contract uh, we use them. Uh, we use the wiki. Now, in order to show you the purpose of the wiki, let me let me um, go to section one because not we did something similar in the previous section this morning. Um, when you come to the wiki, again, it looks very similar to coming to the discussion forum. We have um, uh, in each one of you when you come to this wiki, you will be you will be presented with three specific links, okay? The link with your name on it, the name with your pair on it, and the name with the team on it. What you need to do is the team link, okay? Let's say we go to team number four. <coughs> to start using the wiki, it's very simple. It, it just asks you, would you want me to create a page for you? Because Wiki is basically a web page, but this web page could allow more than one person to work on it. And the default format is HTML. You don't need to care about this. It will be set for you. What you need to do is, once you have selected your team names, go to create page. So under this create page, you come here and you see that um, a specific team from section one that's already created this particular picture for you. Let's go to view because in wiki it's edit, save, and will. Remember, we learned this. And you can see that this is the front page created by this group, team four, this morning. <coughs> now let's take a look at this. They created in class. So I want you to create something like this. But the most important thing is this. To the front page of the wiki, it's just like the front page of your house. Okay? You give a message, welcome to this wiki of this team. Alright? And then say hello, good show. This is just a catchy face of the team. And they invite you to come in and take a look. So you come in and take a look. And they have created a team space here, which is already an extra space, what we call it an extra page underneath this front page. And they have created two 
intermediate page, but they are not a page yet, they're the links. So they have the page for the whole team, and they have the page for the two pairs of this team. And they have the name of the pair member, and for the name of the pair member, they also create a page. So from the front page, we know that they have already given you the organizations of the wiki to work together. Every member needs to enter this wiki through this front page. And so everybody in this team can get to this team group to work things out. So they have created an extra space for the team group here. And the team group's name is the name of the team. And they have also created two smaller rooms called the pair room. But this pair room has not been fixed yet because you can see that they're italics, that means they are the links created in order to generate the pair rooms. So that means everybody from the team can enter this team room, and if you belong to this pair, you enter this pair room, and you belong to this pair, you enter this pair room to do your pair work. And then you individual member will have their own office space, Eric's office space, Tom's office space, Daryl's office space, and Hector's office space. These are the concepts. And what they are going to do for the first learning contract, if you look at the artifacts required, they list out the artifacts like this, just like what I listed out for you. Each one of them need to have a personal learning journal selected from week 5, week 6, week 7, week 8, week 9, week 10. But one topic from all those topics. So, for example, for Martin, Winnie, Sharon, Miko, Ken, J, Sam, J over there, well, use a different name, and they have actually not used some of those names. They need to change those names to this name, because I gave them a temporary. So they have not changed the name to the whole name yet. And this is the template I also given to you today. And so each one of you do your learning journals here. The purpose of this thing up here because any member, all the members for a team must select a different topic. In order not to duplicate the topic of the other member, you can see each other's name topic here. And in case you discover that he has chosen a topic exactly as mine, and the two of you will resolve the conflict, to make sure that the learning journals for all the members of the team are different. They have also put the discussion forum detail, the discussion forum you just used to say hello here so that they could click on this link and start doing the discussions there. And then each person also need to write a blog even though you share the same topic in this particular learning contract number three, but it is well believed that each person's perspective must be different. So you can also take a look at your fellow students prop here. All of these must be ready on the day of the deadline, and you have at least three meeting minutes, okay? And the team discussion report this time, remember only one topic. The team choose one topic to do. And you have a proposal. The proposal I asked you to do now, uh, you have to come up with a unique proposal for the team to do whose report is here. And then self-assignment is individual students of the team, individual member, carry with it certain responsibility to generate personal artifacts and to support the discussions report, to support the PowerPoint, and also to support the digital story. So all of these, they list them up here, so it's very easy to take a look at at a glance what you need to do, where, and with whom. Of course, you can create also some collaborations group, just like the pair. There, you can work with your learning partner for a specific part of this learning contract. Okay, and they also have selected two course intended learning outcome. They analyze the course intended learning outcome number three, and also analyze the course intended learning outcome number four, and for each one of these, they did something, so if you click on those links, you can see some example document where they have grabbed together to show you they have actually achieved things like this. 
So that gets the front page of your wiki. And you can read from this front page, if you belong to a member of this group, which particular link you need to enter to keep track of the work. Okay? Now, the important things about the wiki is you must learn how to edit things using the wiki. You come to the edit. When you come to the edit, you will be presented with what we call an editor like this. And so you can see a trick here. Whenever I would like to create a new page from the front page, I need to use two sets of square brackets to enclose the name of the new page. And so you can see that this name, because it's enclosed by two sets of square brackets, two sets of square brackets, they become the name of a new page. And so when you save them, just like in the will page here, when you save them, they become blue. That means the new page has actually been created. These have not been actually created, but ready to be created. And these are the name of the page. That means you have a very simple organizer. As often organizers start with one front one page, and they have different levels of pages one after the other. And if you want to create a page on the front page, it becomes the second level. If you want to create a page on the second level page, it becomes the third level. So page upon pages. It's become a very useful organizer for you to keep track of your learning material. And that is something you need to do because it is where the whole team needs to work things out in the following three weeks time in order to arrive at the learning artifacts, okay? So, having done this, may I invite you to come to the wiki here at week number A. This is your online environment, and click on this link, and go to the wiki of your team, and type in something similar to I just sold you. At least type in the welcome page, okay? Welcome to this wiki for team number one, for team number two, team number three. So click on this link, okay? Read number eight, click on this link, all right? So it's very important to try using this wiki. This is the second important tool other than the team discussion forum. Team discussion forum is a very facilitative tool that you can just press the reply and you can start responding to your team members discussions detail. And here is a much more elaborate tool that you can really construct an environment to store your material. I would consider this as your team office. And under the team office, you have a team desk, you have a pair desk, you have a personal room, you have a team room, you can have a pair room, whatever you can think of. Uh, but these are the virtual environment. Okay? Help yourself and don't feel bad if you cannot just do it the first time, okay? Uh, the best one is definitely using the notebook computer to do it. With the mobile device, it's very small, so sometimes you don't see easily. Um, yes, I remember yesterday announcing now that I will make sure to repeat it in the uh, teacher's message for this week. Your midterm is on November, I guess, the 5th, or November the 5th is the first day. Uh, after you have turned in the learning contract number three, which is on November the 2nd. So yes, November the 5th, it's first day. The midterm is nothing. It's just like doing the um, a selection of topic, working out the journals, uh, the OIA, um, putting the journal on the discussion forum to engage a learning partner and write the blog at the end of the discussion. But you have only 75 minutes time to do it. Okay? So you can select different uh, questions just from the, uh, the 10 reading lists. I will not give you anything else about that. Okay? So it's on November the 5th. Okay? That is November the 5th. <coughs> it will not be in this room, but I will tell you which computer room to go because you need to do it on computers, okay?
So let's say you get onto the Moodle environment and now it comes to the wiki. So okay, and now we come to the wiki. So let's say uh, we have four teams, let's see if team one has already done something. Type in some messages here for team collaborations wiki. Team number two. So team number two. So type in something to type into the save. Don't worry about creating pages yet. Just type in something to save it. All right. It's very good. Basically, every team can get into this. Uh, let me check to see what to type in. Let's go to team number one.
find some uh, names there. This is team number two. Yes, welcome. Okay. Team number three. Yes, okay. Team number four. Yes. So team number one, type something in. Now I would like you to try for those on the team who have already typed something and see it. Now try to add a page. The way to do it is very simple. Go back to the edit lane. Okay? Go back to the edit lane. And type a second. Now, if someone is editing, and if I would like to edit the game, this is called overwrite, overwrite locks. Because they cannot allow all the people to change something at the same time. They, the priority. So now, do this. Go to your original editor, type in a new name, and put that new name under, uh, in close it by two set of square brackets. And then save the game. Okay? Type in a new name and use two set of square brackets and close the name and, and save and see what happens. All right? This is one way, an important way to create a link, okay, and then subsequently a page. <coughs> oh, that's great. Calvin, Calvin's, yeah, he Okay, now then, let's try to Give Calvin Bell CEO a page. Okay, let's do it this way. We put this within two set of square brackets, okay? And then we save. You can see that Calvin Stow CEO now is become red in color, and this is a link ready to be turned into a page. How can I turn this link into a real page? Very simple. Now it's under real mode, so I'm going to click on this link, and they will ask me, do you want to create a page with this name? And then I say, yes, create a page. So now I got a new page, which is created under the front page, and then I'm, I will say, fans. Good too. All right. So I'm going to save this now. So in a specific page, Calvin Dao CEO, we have this information. But how can we get back to the front page? How can we get back to the front page? In order to get back to the front page, I need some map. Now I click on the map. <coughs> I can see. I can see that this is the original front page name. So I'm going to copy this link, right click and copy this link, and I go back and add it. Now I'm still on this page, so now I'm, I can go back by doing something like this. Home Okay? Click here. So I'm going to create a home link. By highlighting this, I go to this link, I click on this link, and I paste the copy link here, and I'm going to open it with a new window, so I say insert. Now, I can save it again. <clears throat> After I've saved this, you can see that there's a link here. When I click on this, I will be brought back to the front link. Okay? So I visit. Calvin's page, and now I return. Do you see the important things of this? You have a system to continuously create different pages to store different information. It can also bring you back to different levels of pages. It's a very interesting system. Okay, that's called a hypertext system. It's there for already 20 years. And ever since uh, Tim Berners-Lee did it for the mosaic in the <coughs> 1994, now it's already 20, 20, 20, 21 years, okay? So make sure you know how to use this technique, and it's important that you use this wiki 
every member of your team used to make it to organize your working details, the work that you did for the team. Okay? Very important. Can you do that? Can you do that? Yes. Good. Make sure you want to create a page. Put that name inside two sets of square brackets and save. All right? And save. Okay, that's good. Now each one of you can now create something and put your something in your page to present to the whole group what you did. All right? What your ideas. You can put your journals there. You can put your uh, blocks there. Yes, if you're using the small um, intelligent phone, the user interface to copy and paste is a little bit more complicated than the normal computer. You use the mouse, right? And the copy and paste and every single. But sometimes I think these are smart kids, they can easily copy and paste. See that I just I just have to search you how to do this, right? <clears throat> and you can also say I create an extra page here called Good Two, okay? So I create a page called Good Two here, and then I'm going to say. And you can see extra links are down here. And so I click on this link again. They will allow me to create this page called the two. And I say create this page. And then I will be brought to this particular page again. Let's say I will say home. Home means I need to go back here. The same thing. Insert. Save. So I could jump from the second level page back to the front page because I got the same link. Okay? So for each page, you can also count a specific page address. And from any other page, you can go to every other page and you have systems of connect connections. It's a very useful organizer, right? All right, so allow me to take attendance for today.
as a respective atheist. Uh, Erica is here, Vincent is here, Vic is here, Faith is here, uh, Apple, Apple is here, right? Apple are you here? Apple, not here, okay. So, Coco is here, Calvin is here. Yeah, Calvin, are you here? Thank you, thank you. Brendan is here, Bobby is here, Eddie is here, right? Max is here. So Rufus is here, yes. and Neil, thank you. Thank you very much. So do you know how to use the wiki at this point? This is a wiki. I lift every organizer's design to all of you, okay? So you can use the most fundamental design that I showed you, the learning artifacts. You can also use your own style, as long as it works, okay? It's a very good term. Learn how to use it, and all of you can start working things out. Uh, the best way is different people start working on the wiki in a different time set. Otherwise, you have a lot, okay? And you will not be allowed to change anything because your friend is editing something. That is what we call one at a time system. But all the people are doing, and it's many different fractions of time. Okay. Um, we have five minutes left. Let me just go back to the course and show you a very important thing. Okay? This is week number eight. And so if you look at the special schedule, the special schedule, uh, we have a lot of things to help you learn. Now, um, here I guess, let's see, uh, in this, we take the page. Okay, let's just go for the social web of things. Right? Four minutes. Today, the internet of things is also social.
was more intelligence than what we believe. So before we could, uh, this is there is a part you can watch it at home, okay? Uh, it's a very interesting way. Now get some Bill Gates home. Uh, that is to be demonstrated to President Hu when you visit his home in, uh, in, in the United States. It's something like this. So uh, this may be very interesting. It's scheduled on our week number eight, okay? Day number 15 is about not just the social web, but a social web of things. Okay, so you can read part of this. Very interesting. All right. So it could be your topic for well, learning culture number three. You'd like to explore this topic. But allow me to see you on first day. Hopefully, you have a proposal ready. Okay. Do not drag too long for your topic because you just have three weeks time. Any topic should work as long as selected within. The weeds they give it to you. It's very important that you time yourself, okay, and divide work among your members and get it done so that you can submit something on November second. Okay, see you on the first day. Thank you very much. I should be feeling much better today. Okay, at lunch. That's it for today's CISG 1.4 section two on day number fifteen. All right. Thank you.